Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am the Maze Mad Man. Before we get started, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Also, comment in the comment section and share this with your social media and friends. Today we are talking Michigan head coach Jim Harbaugh getting a second interview with the Los Angeles Chargers. Plus, Michigan assistant coaches are spread out across the country visiting some high-level recruits and the top Michigan target still in the 2024 class receives a fifth star from 24 seven, all that. And of course, upset. no disrespect, respectfully, but disrespectfully, it's disrespect. Don't be disrespectful. Those vile, disgusting Spartans, poor little bro, man. And I'm gonna tell them why I'm mad. That vile, disgusting cesspool in Columbus, the other state, and of course, as always, I'm upset. Maize and Blue Nation, it's Tom Brady. I co-founded Autograph with one mission in mind, change the fan experience for the better. That's why I'm excited to announce the release of a new app that recognizes the biggest Michigan fans. The Autograph Fandom app gives you access to the best Michigan content, fan challenges, and exclusive rewards for diehard Wolverines, all for doing the things you already do, like listening to this podcast. Head over to the Apple App Store and search for Autograph Rewarding Fans and download today. Let's start with the Paper Tigers in Columbus. They are meowing, and they are meowing loudly. They have signed in the transfer portal the number one running back in Judkins. They have signed the number five, I believe, quarterback in Will Howard, which, you know, that's whatever. They also signed the number one overall player in the transfer portal in Alabama's Caleb Downs. You add to the fact that they signed five-star plus in the 2024 class quarterback Julian Sayan now to their already 2024 pretty good recruiting class that included the number one overall player in the 2024 class, Jeremiah Smith, and you get a concoction for Ryan Day to get fired. You heard me right. It looked like I was going in a different direction, but you already know I'm the maze madman. There's no way I'm about to sit here and praise the paper tigers. That's exactly what they were. That's exactly what they are, rather. They were that last year, right? They were supposed to have the best offense of all time last year. Coming in preseason, on paper, you got Marvin Harrison Jr., you got Ibuka, you got Travion Henderson, the list goes on. And we were supposed to be shivering in our Nike boots. But instead, Michigan laid the smack down for the third year in a row. They proceeded to go to that bowl game, lose to another SEC team because they're allergic to beating SEC schools. Uh, And by the way, this SEC school was Missouri of all schools. No shot to Missouri, but give us our block in back. Um, By the way, (laughs) the other state has a problem beating teams with block M's, but that's for another video. Um, And now they think they're running rampant on Twitter. It's their other state fans on Twitter that just believe that they have earned the national championship in 2024 because of what they have on paper. But what they forget is underneath when you get past the paper underneath that vile, disgusting Jersey that they wear underneath those shoulder pads underneath that breastplate is missing heart they have none of that they have ryan day as their head coach a professional third baseman he's actually coaching the wrong sport he is a snitch and a third baseman i said it i stand by it that is that we move on michigan recruiting has taking taken rather uh, a downtick this year in terms of the transfer portal Michigan has been major players in the transfer portal the last few years this year not so much and I know that there's a lot of uncertainty right now with the head coaching situation with what is going to happen with the head coaching situation if a certain thing happens so 
that can be contributed to it, but that's always contributed to Michigan and their recruiting efforts around this time of year. So keep that in mind. But just for uh, facts sake, Michigan head coach Jim Harbaugh will be in Los Angeles visiting with the Los Angeles Chargers for a second round of interviews. It is now looking like Jim Harbaugh will be going to the Chargers. Of course, we don't know that for sure, but Vegas odds now favor the Chargers to land Michigan head coach Jim Harbaugh. And if Alabama, if Washington, if Arizona has taught Michigan anything, it is to hire Sharon Moore as the next head football coach of the University of Michigan. And let me tell you why. Obviously, Nick Saban leaves. He's the GOAT. He leaves. It causes a vacuum. And now half of Alabama's roster is in the transfer portal. He is replaced by the the coach, actually, who Michigan beat in the national championship game in DeBoer. And now Washington is losing all their best recruits and top players on the team. They're in the transfer portal. He was replaced by Arizona's head coach. And guess what? Arizona players are in the transfer portal. So in order for Michigan to feel the effect, the least amount of effects from losing Jim Harbaugh, if indeed that is what happens, Michigan will have to hire within. They will have to keep some of that continuity that they have built over the last several seasons. And to do that, they would need to hire Jerome Moore. Obviously, it would be great if Michigan could hold on to defensive coordinator Jesse Minter. I think that is less than likely if Jim leaves because I believe Jim takes Jesse Minter with him if he leaves. So there's that. Now, who can replace Jesse Minter, you ask? How about co-defensive coordinator and defensive back coach Steve Klingscale, who is also an ace recruiter for Michigan? I do also believe reports are out that Jim Harbaugh would take his son, Jay Harbaugh, safeties coach, who is also an ace recruiter for Michigan, with him to the NFL, if that is indeed what he decides to do. Let me know in the comment section what you think of all of this. What do you think of the Paper Tigers? Are they meowing loud enough for you to hear it? What do you think about Jim Harbaugh moving on and the succession plan? If that is the case, let's talk about it in the comment section. Moving right along. On to a little more positive news for the Wolverines. Defensive coordinator Jesse Minter and defensive line coach Mike Elston made a stop in Illinois to check on Michigan target Jalen Williams. Williams is a four-star defensive lineman. He is 6'6", 265 pounds out of Palatine, Illinois. Or Palatine, Illinois, I'm sorry. Shout out to... Uh, the subscribers who help me with these uh, pronunciations, if you will, uh, every week. But anyway, Palatine, Illinois, he is rated 165 in the nation, the number 16 defensive lineman and the fourth ranked player in the state of Illinois. It was a surprise for Williams as he recalls it. He says, quote, it meant a lot that they came to show some love. It's crazy. I was mid benching and I got a text that Michigan is here. I was like, Oh snap. They really have a special defensive line. Those guys are units. They're going to make sure they get to the quarterback as soon as possible. And I just love it. So Michigan defensive coordinator, Jesse Minter out here on the recruiting trail, despite all the rumors, despite everything that's going on, Mike Elston, of course, a great, an ace recruiter for Michigan along that defensive line. Jalen Williams is one of the top targets for Michigan in the 2025 cycle. We will keep you updated as more information becomes available with his recruitment. Along with defensive coordinator, offensive coordinator, Sharon Moore also was on the recruiting trail as he went to see top a top Michigan target, Avery Gatch. Avery Gatch is an absolute monster. You see his tape. He is absolutely destroying defensive linemen and defensive players, whoever they are. Um, He probably has more pancakes than any offensive lineman I've seen on film. But he is an in-state recruit, four-star. 
offensive tackle, 6'5", 275 pounder. He is ranked 193 nationally, the 11th ranked offensive lineman in the country and the third ranked player in the state of Michigan. Gatch would be a massive get for the Wolverines for obvious reasons. And he spoke about Sharon Moore and Michigan recruiting him. He said Michigan had a great season. They won every game and their O-line had a really good season. I want to play for a team that has had historically good offensive lines. And Michigan proved that this year in the past several years. I have also built good relationships with Coach Moore and Coach Newsom. I always feel like a major target and priority for them. And the fans always show up and are loud. So shout out to Avery Gatch. He holds currently over 40 scholarship offers. Again, he is an in-state recruit for Michigan. Another top in-state recruit that Michigan needs to land, by the way. I will keep you updated on this recruitment as it becomes more, as more information rather becomes available. Also, finally, Michigan top target in the 2024 class, one of the last targets for Michigan in the 2024 class, Gatlin Bear, wide receiver out of Idaho, has received a fifth star from 24-7. That is huge. Michigan currently has no five-star recruits, as you may remember, quarterback in the 2024 class, Jaden Davis, was bumped down from his five-star status and that left Michigan with zero five stars in the 2024 class. But if they are fortunate enough to land Gatlin Bear, he would be a five star. And that would give Michigan their only five star in the 2024 class. Let me know in the comment section what you think of it all. What do you think about the recruiting? What do you think about Gatlin Bear getting, gaining his fifth star? Personally, I think it's long overdue. He really showed out in that um all-star game that he participated in along with Josiah Edmond, Michigan cornerback commit. Let me know what you guys think of Gatlin Bear. What do you think of Avery Gatch? This is probably I'm probably most excited for Avery Gatch in the 2025 class right now. He is an absolute unit and a monster. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Be sure to follow me everywhere at Maze Madman. So next time stay angry, my friends. I'm upset. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this might be our best season ever. My ladies, we're about to go through the All right, all right, right. Now, now I'm going to calm down, son. I'm going to calm down, son. I, don't, I, don't, I just don't get that, all that mace and that rock shit and all that puff. I just don't get it, son, okay, for just, real. Just calm and down.